What's up my hernia family? It's me Jace, your hernia fitness guy. And today is day three after your surgery. So hopefully you feel better than yesterday and you have less pain, less discomfort and more mobility. Let's get moving with some exercises. So give yourself an arm's distance around you and let's get started. So the first exercise we're gonna do are stomach vacuums to try to re-engage the core. So you're gonna put your hands on your stomach with your fingers right in towards your belly button. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Then suck your belly button in towards your spine. Try to hold that even when you breathe out. Try to pull the belly button in even more as you do it again. And breathe out. So each time you suck in, you're trying to pull your belly button in even more. and relax. So next we're gonna do some hip circles. So hands on the hips. We've done these before. We should be a little better at these. So now let's go a little bit quicker with it. Go as far as you're comfortable, but you do wanna push yourself out of your comfort zone a little bit. So this is gonna really loosen up the pelvis, hips, and hip flexors a little bit. Okay, let's switch directions. Next, we're gonna do some torso twists. So we're gonna do exactly what it's called. We're gonna twist at the torso. So we're gonna cross the arms in front of us. Try to keep your hips parallel to the wall in front of you. And you're gonna to try to turn as far as you can to one side and then over to the other side. So this is try to is gonna to try to loosen our midsection up. And good. Next we're gonna do a bit of a squat with a twist. So we're gonna work, this is gonna strengthen the legs a bit, um, as well as work on a little bit of flexibility. So you're gonna actually lean forward, you're gonna twist and touch your ankle, and then come back up and switch sides. Good. Now let's warm up the body a little bit more by doing some marching on the spot. Remember to get the knees up. Okay, good. Next we're gonna do what's called a deadlift. So feet are gonna be about hip width to shoulder width apart. Um, you're going to put the hands on the front of your legs and you're thinking of sliding the hands down your legs, down the front of your legs. And you're gonna push your hips right back as you come down. So as you push your hips back, notice my chest is out, so I'm in a good spinal position. So I feel my nice stretch in the back of the legs and then I'm gonna slide back up again. So I'm pushing my weight back into my heels. Go as low as you're comfortable, keeping the chest up. And back up. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a reach to this. So you're gonna deadlift down. And then come up and then reach up.
Okay, good. Okay, next we're gonna do a variation of the one we just did, touching the ankle, but now we're going to reach down, touch the ankle, and then we're gonna reach and twist the opposite side. So reach down and twist. So this is gonna work the legs a bit, as well as loosen up the torso with a twist. Good, okay, let's switch sides. Good, excellent. So next we're gonna do the wipe the walls. So I want you to imagine you have a big cloth. You're gonna wipe a big wall in front of you. Really focus on reaching right out. So this is gonna work the quads again, as well as stretch out our midsection. Good, and let's switch sides. Okay, the next exercise we're gonna do is what I call the John Travolta's. So you'll see why in a second. I'm gonna use one finger and we're gonna reach down towards the opposite ankle and we're gonna come up towards the ceiling. So we're working the quads and then we're stretching the midsection right up when we come up. Good, and let's switch sides. Okay, good. Next, what we're gonna do is an advancement of uh, the side-to-side -side squat we did last day. So it's gonna be a squat shuffle. So this is gonna work the quads a little bit more than before, but basically what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have you squat down as low as you're comfortable, shuffle over, and stand from there. So squat down, shuffle over, and stand from there. Okay, good. Okay, and the next we're gonna do is a step back and fly. So we're gonna step back with one leg, keeping all your weight on the front leg. You're gonna bring the hands underneath the leg and we're gonna bring the arms up and then stand up from there. So you're going to put the hands underneath the leg, bring the arms up and stand up from there. And notice I'm alternating sides. So this is gonna work a little bit more of the quads particularly in the leg that's in front, and as well we're getting the shoulders in as well. This is also a very functional exercise because a lot of times we're stepping throughout the day.
Okay, good. So now let's go into our stretches. Where in the first one, we're gonna reach up towards the ceiling, hand on the hip. We're gonna actually reach up and bend to the side of it. So we're really gonna stretch up the side. We're just gonna hold this and try to breathe as natural as you can. Good, let's switch sides. Good, and relax. So next we're gonna stretch out the hamstrings, which we've done before. So we have both feet pointing forwards, Nice staggered stance. You're gonna lean forwards, keeping this back leg straight. Think of pushing your heel down into the floor. You should feel stretch right in the back of the leg. And just hold that. Okay, good, let's switch sides. One foot forward, the other foot back, both toes pointing forwards. Push that heel down into the floor, keep that back leg straight, and you should feel that stretch right in the hamstring. Okay, and the last stretch we have is what I call embrace the world. So, you know, arms are gonna be right out, you're gonna stretch out as much as you can, open up the chest, and breathe in and out nice and deep. So this is really opening up the chest and shoulders, trying to open up our posture. That's a wrap for today's exercise and stretches. I want you to think back to when you just had surgery and the fact that you are actually getting better. So keep moving and stay safe. I'm Jace, your hernia fitness guy at Defy Fitness, and I'll see you in the next video.